rock and roll. Welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight for another special edition of Cook with a Doc. And here I am with this absolutely gorgeous young lady, doctor, I was gonna say yes, sorry. Thank you. Adam. Now I've got to love it. Minas. <laughs> Minas. And she is here today from Hopkins Medicine. Yes. And we are really uh, excited. We're making a totally easy recipe. Uh, not one I have never made. I don't think, I don't think uh, the doc's made it either, but it's full of fabulous uh, ingredients. Um, I mean, it's got all of this, the, the power food. I have faith. I have faith in you. <laughs> well, sweet potato, sweet potato. I mean, I never... I, I never would have like been drawn to this recipe, but you know, sweet potatoes I know are just so packed with fiber and uh, and they're really healthy for you. And then, and then I and then I found out also. Um, can you grab one? You, you've got all the sweet potatoes over there, my dear. These are huge. Um, the, the skin is actually full. The, the skin has more nutrients in it than than the flesh. And, and these, um, you know, they're really good for if you are, you know, borderline uh, diabetic because the sugars and doesn't turn to sugar. And so it's, it's, it's healthier. Yeah. And plus ba babies love it too, right? They do. I have a three-year-old who really enjoys sweet potatoes. And the other thing I love about sweet potatoes is it is such a universal food. Uh, this is truly a heart healthy food better. that almost everyone in the world has in some form or another. They, they do. And I'm trying to remember where they come from. I, I, I think these uh, original sweet potatoes are native to the Americas, to South America, South America, Central America, but they are actually different than the yams that come from Africa. The yams are actually a completely different plant. These are from the morning glory plant. Yep. And that's just too much yep. information. I don't remember. I don't remember anything else they said about that, but <laughs> A great part of American history. Where did our yams come from? It really, it really is. And yeah. they're so good for you. So serving it with corn and serving it with beans is like a complete meal. So we're close. With a lot of protein. Yeah. Keeping I mean, that's for a long time. That's got that's got everything. It's covering all your bases, right? Yep. A little yep. protein, some carbs, some fiber, carbs in the sweet potato right. itself, some veggies, healthy with... fat. From the avocado, yep, which we'll, we'll get to next. Uh, we cheese love, with a good amount of calcium in it, but low, low, low fat cheese, of yep. course. So um, we are. I'm thinking we are going to peel ours. Um, so you want to grab me one, and and we, we can get started because we got to peel these, and we got to get these guys in the oven. This is not a medium. It says three mediums, extra, extra large. Like, what is a medium anymore? I mean. I think some people would say this is large. I'm sorry, I don't think this is large. I think this, yeah, what? This is extra, extra large. So this is like three. So this is all the recipe calls for. <laughs> I, I normally, good for a family if you're cooking at home. Well, this will serve, serve at least four, I hope. And here you've got your your, your peeler. Yep. I've got my peeler. And Mark, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're used to these peelers. Um, I, I love them and I like to get it, get it all off. And I just think it's prettier without the skin, even yep. though these are washed and beautiful, you know, but you can, we could cook the skin and eat, eat it if we really feel like it. And the skin has its own nutritional benefits. It has for... more nutrients than yeah. the actual flesh. And since these are going to be cut into little circles, you know, I, I was gonna say, you're welcome to try that with yours. I'm just gonna feel it. Well, let's just say, look how gorgeous that is. And I also read that the darker the flesh, the, the higher nutrition. Yep, so beta carotene is what gives sweet potatoes their red color. And that's the same that is found in carrots. So carrots also look red. Now, our carrots are the ones that are actually healthier when they're cooked versus eaten raw. I think I remember reading that. That recently, might be true. That which I thought was true. kind of wild. Yeah. In general, though, most vegetables eat more of their nutrients uncooked. 
That's what I thought. That's why I was like, wait a minute. Here, you can put your uh, your compost. Not as fast as the chef here. <laughs> yeah, You're doing great. What are you talking about? Here, you finish that one. I'll walk on you. There we go. Look how fast you are. Bravo. No, because yours is a, is a wonky shape. <laughs> okay, whatever makes me feel better. <laughs> wonky, wonky. Yeah, so we I want to get these babies in as quickly as we can. But these do not take as long to cook as uh, white potatoes. Oh, which I thought was also another plus, but it's the same benefits. Well, white potatoes don't have very no. many benefits. <laughs> oh, you mean white regular potatoes? White uh, potatoes. Yes. yes. No. Uh, compare this compared to white. There's no comparison. I mean, but the interesting thing about you know regular potatoes, it's the same premise. The darker the flesh, the higher the there actually are some nutrients. So the purple potatoes are better for you. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. And again, the skin is good for you too. So now I'm they the recipe says to cut these into a quarter inch. No, <laughs> no, not unless you want to. Really, we, we could be today. here all night with this uh, <laughs> this part. But in case there's anybody else out there, you know, cooking with us, I try not to go all Food Network on them. You know, oh look here, all our meat's on plus. Everything's already cut <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make you work. <laughs> Show the real side of cooking. Well, yeah, I mean, and, it, and it's more fun. Find the bloopers. So how, how comfortable are you with the knife? Uh, I'm about yes. to find out. So uh -oh. <laughs> no, wait a minute. <laughs> no. Wait, wait straight in. <laughs> uh, we, we can't have any uh, accidents with, with the dog. inch. Okay, well, let me first tell you uh, and give you for everybody, before anybody picks up a knife in this kitchen, I do like to give a quick tutorial. What if we could just like saute that and puree that and turn it into something healthy? Zoodles, I guess, with sweet potatoes. Oh, zoodles, that's an interesting <laughs> idea. Okay, the pinching the blade technique is the safest way to hold your knife. Um, so put your thumb right okay. on the blade at the bottom, put your other pointer finger on the other side, and then wrap your other fingers around the blade. Doesn't have to go. And like, that helps protect your like, fingers. You know, color, like, you know, it's the end of the world. Uh, you know, relax it a little bit. But they do um, advise you not to do this. Yeah. Okay. Just because accidents, it's just, it, it could, although that's never happened to me. And I know I find myself doing that sometimes. But I don't know why. I just, so I just try not to. Um, so you can maybe, you know, cut it in half just to make it a manageable size. There you go. And always, you know, try to keep your other finger fingertips away from it. I was thinking I really wanted to do to cheat a slicer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just because this is very tedious, um, but I don't know how comfortable you are with, because that gives us kind of a nice thin sweet potato. Yeah. I mean, for nachos, I mean, might be much better than my abilities. So if you're feeling brave, so this little thing on the back, yes, this is an old one. Okay. You can tell. Um, I loosen it. Loosen that up, and then that gives you a, a thicker setting. So how's yours? Here, that I think that's a pretty thin. No, oh, we don't want thin. No thin. I think. Well, I think that's probably the thickest. And then when you press down on it, it had little little cheap things, but I think you can safely. What I do is I, I bump it up against me. Ready. Keep it steady, and then sort of go back and forth, and then just 
stop when it gets to whatever. So, you know, you don't want to. Oh, this is yours. Yep, like that. Fresh. Stop when you start to feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Too close to my fingers. Exactly. Yeah, because we don't, you know, it's just not worth losing. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> It's actually so much easier, right? <laughs> Slicing with a knife. I, even I can't get like a perfect quarter inch slice on a sweet potato. I don't think I know anybody who can. It's just, that's just too demanding. So, okay. See how I'm doing when I'm getting down to this part? I kind of have my hand flat. Not even really holding uh, on to it anymore. Protect your fingers. I'm just kind of pushing it down. And then, like I said, if it's not getting comfortable, stop. This hey. is actually a pretty color one. This is kind of just fun. Yeah, you could take these little bits home. To, you know, to my baby. What is your daughter's name? Laya. L A H Y A. You want to hear like something Layla, funny? But like, yeah. Layla. So we found her name on the internet. Okay. I have never met a liar before. So hopefully, there's another liar out there in the world. You got a ball over there. Were you trying to get? A, 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 did you want an original name that not everybody had? Not quite Lila, but close enough. Close enough. That's a pretty name. Okay, now what are we doing? I've completely forgotten. I think I remember. I think we get to put a nice bit of olive oil. Okay. Get a nice, nice olive oil. I want to make sure I use the. And if you feel like measuring it, I believe it's four teaspoons. Whatever. Close enough. So I'm sure you know all about the health benefits of the Mediterranean diet. I, my mother lived on the Mediterranean diet. So we love olive oil. I love olive oil. Are you all I want to take a bath and all. <laughs> and it's good, good for your hands. So if you feel like that, you have, you have this, if this is not working. So I want, to, I want to get everything covered. So we have a, a, a tray down underneath there. Yeah, see, see, oh, so fun. Lila. Really feeling the thin chips. Yeah, the only, I mean, I don't know how well it's going to work. I, I, I'm dying to throw some in the, um, in the air fryer. I don't know. I, I, everybody's crazy about air fryers. I mean, they came out years ago and, and I asked for one for Christmas for like, four mm -hmm. years and never got one. <laughs> and then finally, I finally got one. I mean, it seems like everybody has one. My mom actually sent us one this last holiday season. So I sent one to my, my nephew, who's a terrible cook. Um, and he, I sent him an iron skillet too. He's, he's, very he's putting it to use? Well, he, he loves it. He, he was going to buy buy one. He said, you know, I have Stephanie, I need, I need an iron skillet. I'm like, no, you can't buy an iron skillet. It has to be gifted to you, right? It's supposed to kind of come down from your grandmother, your mom, or your aunt, or, or, or what? Or Amazon, whatever it comes out. <laughs> as long as it comes to you. No, he was looking on Amazon, but. The weirdest thing. All right, hold that thought. Oh, you need more. I think maybe a little, little bit more. It's not quite soaking it up. We've got a few spices to put on this. We have chili powder. I do try to find chili powder that is sodium free. Mm -hmm. It always, it, it totally shocked me that chili powder has salt in it. I was like, is anything sacred? Yeah, look, if you look on the ingredients, there's salt in it. So as long as, I mean, if it's not the first ingredient, great. But there are chili powders out there now that are salt-free. I know, because I bought some. So, and as you know, you know, we have a lot of patients with high blood pressure, heart failure, 
to wash their sodium so closely. They have to. They have to. And this is, I mean, and that's that's why we're here. Because all of our classes, you know, are geared around cutting back on the sodium, cutting back and using fresh ingredients. Like I'm mean, like like I said, I've never used this before or made this before. So you have a I measured this out for you. This is yeah. your you don't have to put it all on, but this is the, the chili powder. And how much did you measure out? That was a, a teaspoon, believe it or not. A teaspoon. Now we don't want to use our fingers, even though this is when we really need to use our fingers. And then we have garlic powder. Okay. Not garlic salt. Which yes. has sodium in it. Right. Who need, why do you need garlic salt? I, th I, I, I just, I don't understand. We don't need garlic salt. You don't need any of your seasoning at home to have salt in it because first of all you can make your own seasoning blends yeah um and a, and a lot of people do and they don't even realize how easy it is now last i mean it's a great suggestion i actually never thought about it until today that anytime you're buying garlic salt it's coming with sodium in it so right. things that we don't think about recommending to people that we take care of a lot of people don't, don't, don't think about it. And they don't look, sadly, they don't look at the ingredients. And, you know, salt sneaks up on you. Yeah. I mean, because it is also naturally in some of the vegetables and foods, but um, it's also in bread and we love bread and it's also in cheese. And I really love that everything we're doing is involving fresh ingredients. The fresh sweet potatoes, yeah. not preserved before, didn't come pre-seasoned with milk before. Oh, I, I never buy anything pre-seasoned. Start from yeah, start yeah especially from meats too, because you know th there's just soaking it in salt. Yeah, so you really want to try to stay away from that. So last but not least, it's it asks for paprika. Okay, so I'm kind of a well. First, I like to collect cans. Um, I just, I like them better than the plastic. So paprika is so wonderful because there's so many different kinds <laughs> and there's so many in there and they're all wonderful. So we have hot paprika. Okay. Who knew hot paprika? Like, like spicy. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then oh, we have sweet paprika. So you might ask, you know, what you're getting that just says paprika in the store. Yeah. Oh my God, is it hot? It's all sweet. The standard, unless, paprika. the standard, yeah, is, is sweet, um, unless, of course, it says hot. So I didn't know what way you wanted to go with this. And then, of course, the totally trending, fabulous other paprika that the, the, the Spaniards have um, smoked. Okay. Oh, and oh, is oh. that the sweet kind smoked? It is. Okay. It is. What am I going to? Okay, don't, don't. Me, ah, I have a spoon. Thank you. It is not spicy. No, it's divine. Not spicy at all. It just gets that mm. makes you think that you know. You know how you Come smell the grill. Yeah, <laughs> when you've been at a bonfire and you know, burnt. Yeah, oh, it's nice drinking your hot chocolate and the smoke like the smell okay. falls. You walk inside. <laughs> this is what you smell like, right? Not, but not as nice as this. So I don't know which one do you think you're gonna use. If you don't want to try that, if you want to just keep yours plain and do the sweet, I think I'm going to try mine with the, the smoke, just so we have different ones. Or you do the smoke and I'll do the... You know, I think I will do a combination of the sweet and hot. Ah, okay. You're going to do a combo of the sweet and hot. Okay, yep. great. Then I'm going to do the smoke. Okay. So I think we get a teaspoon. So then just do a teaspoon of each. And I'm just going to be brave and dump some of this out into mine. I'm a pretty good eyeballer of what a teaspoon looks like. I think I want to get a little more oil on mine. And now we got to stir it up again. And I could have had these all measured out for you, but that's just too easy. You put a little more oil on this, didn't you? I did. And also, I feel like I have maybe a larger potato, so I might go over the size. Well, it smells good. No salt, you know, we're not putting any salt. 
but I think I might see the little, put a little bit more oil. Oh, oh, oh. We are gonna spray our pan. So I'm gonna get my, my pan out. Uh -oh. Here's my pan. Have, uh, I think you have some over there. So spray the pan. We have already preheated our oven, folks. To 425. <laughs> Thank God. I always forget to do that. It's important. I'm going to try to do it in a, in a single layer, but I don't know if it's going to work. What do you think? That's my peanut gallery. We have, we have a wonderful crew here tonight. <laughs> got, to, got to give everybody a little bit of credit. Well, in the recipe, it just said one. So then it's just gonna have to, but it also said smaller slices. <laughs> That's okay. We're, We're hungry tonight. You're hungry? I'm hungry. That's good. So and these are already looking. It's smaller. always good to come here hungry. I can't remember, is it, does it say black pepper? I think I left the pepper grinder in the car. So I think we'll skip the black pepper. I think the hot paprika will add. A little bit of spice. I just, I love black pepper. I'm always preaching. Oh, perfect. Then there we go. Preaching the benefits of freshly ground black pepper. Mm. Uh, um, it's so a natural. Yeah. That just, that just, that just that you. It helps like release the enzymes in your gut. It helps you digest. It's food, you know. Food was designed well for our bodies. So in my uh, my personal background, cultural background is Pakistani, and there is actually little candies made of black pepper mm. that people will often eat after <laughs> a large meal there. And I never realized that was the that is so benefit funny. is digestion after. What are they called? Uh, Hajmoa. So pretty common in India, Pakistan. Well, I mean, that's where some of the oh, best out there. Um, pepper comes from. So that is really finally makes sense why he would have that after. A that is so cool. Well, and and you know, that whole region, the cuisine, you know, and the and the spices, there's there's you know, a, a medicinal usage to, to everything. And, mm -hmm. and it's you know, thousands and thousands of years of of developing the, the flavor profiles, I'm I'm completely daunted by um, the cuisine of, of India and, and Pakistan, and I I I, I don't I wouldn't know what to do. I don't know. What to do. I'm still. I mean, one of the fascinating things about practicing in cardiology at this conversation, actually, with a colleague earlier today, is when we're making recommendations, we're thinking about what our patients eat, right? So if you right come from a particular culture and you're having a particular diet and all of a sudden we start recommending you should only have this type of salad it might not work that's right maybe it's a different green that you consume at home absolutely okay we're going in oh here's the shot seem to have less oil. Do we need to spray the top of yours a little bit more? You know, maybe when we turn them over. Oh, I think they look yeah. beautiful. They look beautiful. Okay. Now let's get rid of these. Okay. My, my magic. Okay. My magic doctor. You did great on this. This is wonderful. I might actually they get are, one for myself. They are not expensive. Thank you very much, darling. Um, H Mark. H Mark. Okay, have you been to H Mart? I have actually. So I, I, we, we love it. What's the other one that you went to? Great, Great Wall. Wall. Great Wall or something. Oh, I feel like I'm going on vacation when I go shopping at, at, at all of those. Great Wall and Great Wall. Wall is Chinese market. Well, and, and but they have, you know, Korean aisles and they have, it's just, it's, it's overwhelming and mind blowing. Really? I love it. Great seafood section. Oh. If you need something to drink, we're happy to help you. Okay, so now I think we need to do a little bit more cutting. And we had so much fun cutting up the um, sweet potato. Okay. Why don't we, well, tomatoes kind of make a mess. 
And then we need to cut up an avocado. So how about we grate the cheese first? All so right. we only get to have a third of a cup of cheese. So I can grab whatever block. All right, that's perfect. <laughs> I'll take this one. And you have a grater there to the left. So this just, it just says a third of a cup of some cheddar cheese. I'm using the, the largest one. And we're grating the cheese because when you buy pre-grated cheese, first of all, it doesn't taste as good. Second of all, it's coated with some sort of a anti-caking cellulose, huh. something, something, something. Preservatives. Well, it, it's mostly like, think like anti-caking stuff. Okay. Um, wood. Which is that's what cellulose is, right? Yeah, that's true. It's I like never the, thought about that before. The, um, but yeah, well, when I found that out, uh, you hear we have your your little bowls. I think that's a nice little amount. And seriously, it really does taste better. It does taste better, and it does not melt well with the other caking stuff in it. I can always tell when um. When people haven't used freshly, it just it doesn't melt. It doesn't taste good. It, and I actually learned this from um, from a student of mine, which was so refreshing. Oh. I used to give cooking matters tours of grocery stores, and and this this she pointed this out to me. All you know, these skills I'm learning from you today. I I, I love it. And, and also, you know, you think you might be paying less. It's always cheaper to buy the block and do the work. Yes. And it tastes better. Oh, yeah. You're going to use less of it. It's it way better. Flavor. That's a good point. I never thought about that. Okay, I think we finished grating. That's the goal. And now we can do the tomato. So call it for Rome tomatoes. Okay. Now, these are kind of on the small size, so if we need more, we have more items behind this. This might want to yeah. veggie arrange. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> colorful. <laughs> now, I, I don't think it said that we have to cut out the, you know, the good stuff, the heart. Okay. How, how so do you just feel about it. it? You know? I'm fine with leaving it. Yeah, I want to I wanna eat it all. That's good. But I do like to cut off that part. So I'm going to, do you have a special way to cut up your uh, tomato? Uh, usually I do take out the heart, but we will you try to take out the heart. No, you, do, you would do your way, because sometimes people- But these are not overly ripe. So oh, I these, I think we could go out our way. People, people want to see it. So we're just going to dice it. Tomatoes really aren't quite uh, in, in the season yet. And it says a third of a, third of a cup so i just sliced mine into quarters like i said i want the heart well sometimes you know, if if you're not going to use the heart i will take it out when it's a really juicy one and i actually make a i make a salad dressing oh my tomato looks nothing like your tomato my tomato has been destroyed <laughs> i i tend to you know cut everything up into you know little little strips it's juicy like it's about to go in a soup <laughs> little strips and i turn them and watch your other hand try to make sure you don't it's, it's very attractive i use this this is that claw technique here so i have had a little more experience <laughs> The funny thing is, I used to eat tomatoes. You used to like eat them. a fruit when I was yes, a... yes, <laughs> in my mother's garden. Pick them off. Yeah, pick them right off. The... They don't get any better. That is the most wonderful way to have them. And just you know, it's just running down your mm -hmm. your your arm. Does that look like a third of a cup or half a cup? Get down. Close enough. We need to watch it. I love tomatoes. I, and I also love those, those multicolored ones. Oh, the smaller ones? Yeah. They are very 
very delicious. The color makes it all the more appealing. Well, I like what color does. Put a couple of the smaller ones, actually. Uh, did we set a timer? 10 minutes, anyone? Yikes. I'm not good at setting timers, folks. This one's definitely not good. I learned a secret. Buy all the beautiful tomatoes when they're in, in season. Mm. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not going to eat them all and you want to save some for later, just throw it in, in the freezer. And the taste is just throw the whole tomato in a bag and throw it in the freezer. Okay. Because then when it is in the middle of winter and nothing tastes good, as far as tomatoes are concerned, you know, yeah. and that, I mean, that's when you use the canned tomatoes because they are delicious. They were picked because they were canned, you know, right when they were at their freshest. So uh, it makes perfect sense. But when you take these wonderful, also super fresh tomatoes that work, at one yeah. time, the skin comes right off them. Oh. So it's just like a perfect, you know, skin. It's really just a full bluff inside. Well, I mean, it, it's cold and it's very, very juicy. Um, here I was spending so much time blanching them, taking off the skin, uh, you know, doing all the whole canning process. Well, not anymore. <laughs> so I wanted, I wanted a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Oh, you cut up a yellow one or just so I did. See, the that's color so was pretty. Just too appealing. See, very pretty. Very pretty. Now I can see why I love this. All right, what's left? Beans. Um, I think we need to look at our look at our patates because I think we may want to. Do you have your your? I don't want you to hit them. Thank you. Why well, can't yeah, I can never remember the name of these things? The mitt. <laughs> the oven mitt. Okay. So I'm just going to take my towel. I believe it says to. So now, do we want them to turn them over crispy or just not quite done yet? Ideally, I think we'd like to cut a little crisp. But if they're, they sure smell good. I think they're, 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 they're yeah. all the way. They probably are. Them over it. Um, I have a spatula here too for you if you want to oh. use one, but I'm just so whether they cook for 10 minutes or not, they're actually cooked. I mean, they're so thinly sliced that these are should not right. take that long. Well, that was the idea, yeah, <laughs> and then probably you know. We're making nachos here, so did you throw some of that um, in the air fryer? Or? No, we'll do that another time. You have one at home? I do. So when I make it at home, there you go. We use our air fryer for two or three times a week. <laughs> so it's the only thing my husband knows how to do in the kitchen. He, oh, he does the air fryer. My, my hand, my, my husband stands guard in front of the air fryer. He, he thinks it's, he owns it. Yeah, that's what it's very it's like the, the territorial thing. Like, uh, same with mine. My air fryer, anyway. Ooh, la the last class we were using the air fryer, it was quite a story. Yeah. If the handle all of a sudden came off, oh, <laughs> unbeknownst to me. <laughs> Uh, something happened to the handle, and my husband tried to put it back on. And he didn't tell me, of course. But that didn't work. So we tried to open it, and of course, the handle came off with my hand. And then there's a whole long story. Uh, so this air fryer was ordered. The air fryer? The one that's uh, in front of you. Put, put mine back in. They're looking, looking good. Looking good. We need a few more minutes. Am I missing anything? And I think while those so are we seasoning the beans or are we we're just adding them. I think we're we're just gonna sprinkle them off. Oh, look at you, you already cleaned your board. You are a neat, you are a very neat cook. I like that. My tomatoes were not nearly as nicely 
Topless your tomatoes. Yes, but they look yeah. quite a mess. Yours look more beautiful <laughs> because they have the yellow one. You know, and sometimes too perfect is really not very interesting for the eye. It's true. Avocados. I did not realize that there is so much fiber in an avocado. Fiber. Where's the fiber hiding? Healthy it's, fats. Right. It's like creamy and gorgeous. So they keep you. So my daughter actually has, my three year old has an avocado every night. Every night she, it was her first food. A whole one? She has about half. We do a smoothie with avocado and she loves it. It's the only thing, despite the toddler behavior, that is a consistent food. You must feel lucky. My, my <laughs> son wouldn't touch an avocado with, and you know, if I, it wouldn't matter. He would taste it. Now, what do you look for? Obviously, you are very, very keen on buying the avocados. So, what do you look for? I'm praying all of these. This is why I get four of them. I mean, these are perfect, right? They're not so firm that they right. feel like rocks. Those just take. A long time to ripen, and they're never quite as nicely ripe as if they came off. Fine, it's a little more ripe. Right. Um, and then you know, the one of yours a little greener than the other. Yeah, so this one's a little bit greener. Yeah, you, you want a little resistance, but not too much, not mushy. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you have to be very delicate with them when you buy them. So, and these are the beautiful ones. These are the, the Haas ones. So it's a fruit. Yeah. It, the avocados are fruit. And it has the biggest seed in, of any fruit, I think. I was trying to remember. There was something right. Or else mangoes. <laughs> mangoes. Mangoes are, are, I guess they are. Pretty big seed. They're pretty, I don't know. We have a mango here. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. So um, I usually just cut it in half. Um, not around the equator, but around this way. Uh, and then I twist it. And then how do you do it? That actually is what we do too. And then we to do the slicing. It's not usually actually, a perfect circle, but hemisphere, but you know. That's, a, that's okay. So it, we may only need half, but, and then it just, you know, you just roll all the way around the, the pit. And then it's just a twisty thing. Dang, these are gorgeous. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I to be turned into food. What, what happened? <laughs> Here, you get a beautiful one. I got the I'll take this. I got you. Oh, thank you. You've got to get one. That's okay. So if you're not going to use them both, you can just store that one in a bag with, you know, squeeze some juice on it, some lime juice. I read somewhere actually you could just put this on a bed of chopped onions. Is that the trick to keep it from browning in the fridge? It's gonna brown regardless. It just is. So I don't even really worry about it that much. I'll just put it in like this. Sometimes okay. I'll put it down on something and then it'll just crust up and get hard and you just cut that off. It's true. It's, unless you have a toddler who sees that it was a brown avocado. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't help it. <laughs> And they'll even know if you like try to spray. They will yeah. know. I know. Will I know. 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 I know. I know. Okay. So at this at this point, you could do. You could get your spoon. I'll show you both ways. And you could just get the whole thing out by. You want to hug the, the skin. Get in between the flesh and the skin, and just go all the way around. And, stuff. and then with what's left in here, you must eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you, the, you don't want to play with an avocado when you're cutting it up. The, the least it's an amazing avocado amount of good avocado. You just don't want to touch it. Uh oh, I think we need one more bowl. I forgot, I forgot about the avocado. We have, I have a little, uh, some little wooden bowls over there. Mm. So you can take an avocado. Huh? These are incredible. Wow. Okay, so this one, thank you, my dear. I'll do this for y'all. Okay. 
appreciate it. So the other one, how do you get that out? However we can. <laughs> Good answer. Okay, so I usually carefully stab it and then you turn, turn it. Never heard of that before, but that is a wonderful trick. And then here's that, this has got a little brown on it, but it's so now I can't get it off. It's stuck. That's the problem. That's the hard part. You just have to leave it there. Okay. I went hard. There we go. There we go. If you're brave, keep it on the cutting board and then cut thin all the way down, but not all the way through. Okay. See, I'm just getting cutting slices. So you can cut these as thin or as thick as you like. And then go and turn it. There you go. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Yeah. Oh, these tricks I just never thought about before. Hmm. Leaving it in the skin to cut it. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's the, the less you touch it, the better. And then that nice little spoon. Same thing. But I'm gonna just cut that. Oh, I know that's not very really nice. Go away. As close as you can. See how the spoon kind of mm -hmm. I got a larger spoon sort of fit it. And then you have slices. Not perfect. Or cubes in my case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something. Mine has some black stuff. Not bad. <laughs> First drop. Okay, so we have lots of avocado. We love avocado. Which is good. Okay. Let me have your, your shells. Okay. And we still have the other half, right? Yep. Oh my god. Oh, you can't let this go. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's probably the most nutritious part <laughs> of the avocado, right? Not the green. It's the dark, the darker the green. I can that's when I buy romaine lettuce. You know, where's the green? It, it's no longer green. It's more like a white, whitey green. It's like, guys, I need some of that outer green part because that's where all that's where all the nutrition is. There we go. It's that gel down there. Okay, so for this guy, it's basically the same thing. Just yeah, you can use a smaller knife. I left it. Don't not don't, 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 don't touch it, right? <laughs> Small or large. And you're just doing the same thing. Slicing. Slicing. And then of course you can just push it and get a beautiful fan. Oh, yeah, there you Close. Go. Oh. But and it would be a good idea to squirt a little bit of. And I actually do have a little bit. There's a couple of wines out there. I don't think that's going to hurt the flavor of anything we're eating here, right? So this is one avocado so far which is actually more than the recipes called yeah. for one avocado one sweet potato we put one well three medium sweet potatoes okay as opposed to one extra large right. sweet potato and now let's check our let's check our potatoes i don't want to burn them it's, i think it's time to get them out Ay. Now, what I thought would be cute is to put some, put them on here. Okay. Um, I'll show you. Put the hot stuff. You got two there. Let's see if it works. It doesn't work. If we're supposed to put it back in, 
Mm -hmm. Maybe as I'm placing them down on here. Yeah, you could actually, you might be able to fit yours next to you. What do you think? I think so. Maybe sprinkle a little cheese on just while you do it. Bye-bye. Just don't want it on here. I don't want it. There you go. Perfect. She's a pro. She's a pro. pro. You may want, we, we might have room for two. Okay. I've got all your stuff over here now. And I guess we could, if you want to use a spatula, just these are, yeah, they're a little fat. <laughs> and then just spread these out on here, just because they're just too terribly cute. I actually really wanted to try a purple. Yeah, just for the hay of it. Next time. But then when I read that, it's a completely different. They're actually Animal. a little sweeter in taste, right? The purple ones. Um, well, the the yams from 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 Africa, you know, the, the different. This looks well, not a sweet potato. It's not as healthy for you. <laughs> I'm also going to sprinkle a little cheese on it while it's hot. Okay. That way, it can melt a little bit. I wonder if my husband will do this. So now we're spreading them onto both of these. You can use two or you could just go go higher. What do you think? So at this point, they don't need to be single layers. They could be stacked. If it's, you know, really is whatever you want. To do. Maybe they should do two. You want to do two? Don't forget to put some cheese on. Oh, throughout? Yeah. Or just at the end. Oh. I don't listen to the recipe all the time. Sneak them in. Sneak them <laughs> the cheese them. Well, because I'm doing layers. That's that's oh. that's the beauty. That's the charm. I'm the mom doing chef doing some layers here. Go back and add some cheese throughout. In case I don't have time. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm getting to the hand action now too. Cheese, cheese, cheese. I mean, it's actually gonna my my cheese is gonna melt anyway. Did you taste one? They're not exactly crispy. No. Well, we're putting them back in, but I don't care. I can taste as good as anyway. <laughs> I mean, sweet cheese. potatoes, cheese, good ingredients, okay. right? You should taste them. Even though they're not crispy. All right. Well, they're, they're tasty. No, no. I might need some more cheese. <laughs> I have to steal some ears. Just so it melts on top of the school. I'm just going to put it back in just for a tiny bit. So the grated cheese grating yourself even has a different appearance. It just looks prettier. It does. Looks prettier. Taste better. Yeah, I was going to do two, but I changed my mind. I can't wait to taste yours because mine, the smoky paprika is very much, um, is it overpowering? I, just the perfect amount of smoke. I don't think it's it's not overpowering. It's just it's it's really interesting. It's really different. I like it. Like, I don't think we need to cut anything else up here, right? All of our all of our goodies are cut up. Fabulous. Hey. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm going in. Just just for a minute. Yeah, I could almost think you could put that. Did we put it in there? Oh. Yeah. But you can put the. You can actually you can bake. 
In the air fryer. Yeah. I saw about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's ceramic. Huh. So it kind of makes it easier to clean oh, the air fryer, hot, too. Hot, hot, hot. Don't touch yours like I just did. <laughs> <laughs> but I have asbestos hands. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, yeah. We need a towel. It's open. Oh, okay, good. You got one. Well, I did. You know, I was thinking, I'm going to give you a knife just in case. Last but not least. Okay. You know, if you wanted to um, put a little cilantro on it. I love cilantro. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. It's so not fresh. It's not in the recipe, but I mean, come on. Oh, it's in water. It's staying fresh. It's very fresh. We just bought it. So, you know, you can cut it up. Cilantro. I actually, I, I cut up the whole thing now. I don't even bother taking the, the stems off. And it adds a nice crunch. Oh my gosh, you put in the sim. I mean, this is so fresh. The stem is it's delicious. It's um actually I'm what what I'm tasting from it's gonna go nicely with it. Yeah. With the sweet potatoes. Oh yes. Um so that's why I got that line just in case. You need to sprinkle a little bit of that. And yeah, when you cut up the stem, you've got a little bit of um a little bit of crunch. Mm -hmm. All of the best salsa uses the whole thing. Oh, that's that that is the, the coolest thing about about cilantro. Oh, I read a piece of that. Taste too, right? It adds a nice taste. Yeah, but you can eat the entire plant. Yeah. You can eat the stem. You can eat the leaves, and then when it goes to seed, you've got the seeds. The seeds. Coriander. Fair point. Yeah, and that's just, uh, so, yeah, when they go to seed, you can replant it, or you can use those seeds. Um, many, many dishes, and it's delicious. It, I mean, it doesn't taste like cilantro, and I don't even think people that have that soap gene Get I that would have not put it together. Actually, no, no. you said it just now. Yeah, but I think it is the same. Cilantro, I think, means coriander seed or something. I don't know. I <laughs> but yeah, so don't don't waste it. I um I learned that when I was yanking them up after they went to seed. Yeah, and my friend's like, no, don't do that. You could eat that. So he said, I said, well, what do you do with it? He said he puts it inside a a whole fish. So then I started, you know, grilling the whole fish stuffed with the cilantro, the coriander, the leaves, the, the whole it, thing that had gone to seed. Yeah. Amazing taste. I can't grow coriander. This is my mother's coriander. <laughs> Mine just doesn't work. All right, we can take a peek at it. What do you think? Yeah. Because we still got all this other good stuff to put on it. Yeah, our, our, our cars are going to be just piling all over the place. Okay, yes, it is melting. It is melting. I think we're going to need a full night to, to eat ours, right? You're right. Thank you. I mean, it looks beautiful. Yeah. It's pretty lovely. Pretty yummy. Yeah. So what do we do now? We put, we just sprinkle all this good stuff on it. The beans. I don't even have room for all this. Some tomatoes. <laughs> Avocado. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's styling. I know. I like it. I like it. Aren't those um, pot holders adorable? They really are. Yeah, I like fell in love with those. Okay, this is the dressing stage. Yeah. Well, this and this is it before the eating stage. Unless I'm missing something. So of course this is you know she's good. <laughs> I'm making a pretty. I like I like yours. <laughs> well, hopefully you know when uh, uh, 
Le Layla? No. Laya. Layla is old enough to be able to bring her, bring her over here. For sure. I mean, and, I mean, y'all can come anytime. We have classes virtually every Thursday. Yeah. See, so you know, the nice thing about the one nice thing about COVID, there's many not nice things, is the ability to do virtual becomes yeah. so accessible for everyone now. It's been in incredible. And actually the there's people that you know can join me from all over the country now. Or all over the world, wherever, or, right? Exactly. My, my friend in Singapore gets mad just loses a little bit. Yeah, I can't really get it. Okay, I'll change the time. What time should I do it? But um but and I have in-person classes that are have restarted. Actually, my first in-person class here is going in the kitchens tomorrow. Oh, how amazing. Which is really exciting that's you know open to everybody there's only five spots so i mean virtual makes everything accessible but yes. being able to come here in person yes spend time with you guys it's a completely different experience it is it is a much different experience um and you know and you get to eat the food and i get to I'll buy the food <laughs> so it's not yeah it's great. Look how gorgeous that is. The precious cilantro. Everything is here. I am totally tickled, and I and I hope you learned a, some tricks that uh, that you're going to be able to practice at home. And avocado cutting is key. And you know, and I loved what you said about recipes and how are you helping your patients. And you can't and, and understanding that you can't just give them a recipe and like make this. And, you know, no, you this is why meet them where they are. It, what works for it, them. You have to meet them where they are, which is why I make a very conscientious choice in the recipes that I choose, and I really try to draw them from from all from all over the world. I mean, I grew up in Memphis, so okay, so you really the chicken and waffles. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, speaks <laughs> to my people. <laughs> Well, I, I will do the chicken and waffles again if you come <laughs> with your friends. Because, like I said, you know, I, I want the a reopening. You know, I want it to be comfort foods you know, from our homes, and, and you know, to bring us all back together. A healthier perspective on well, they're and they're all healthy. Yeah, yeah. It may not be you know, diet, but <laughs> the more you know, in general, the more color you see on your plate. Yeah. The more likely that you are making healthy choices. She just said eat everything. <laughs> but the color comes from I know and look tomatoes, yeah. avocado. Every every one has you know a different nutrient, different antioxidants, and yeah, and that's all good for uh, fat eating and yeah, keeping your blood pressure down and just you know just don't sit and eat the whole thing. Okay, <laughs> remember your portions. I think. This, this feeds four, okay? So that means we definitely get to add a little bit more of that stuff to it. Yeah. So I think that, I think somebody would be really satisfied when they came home after school for this snack or for sitting around and watching the game. I'm sorry, it's not a Purple's Raven set, okay? I, I, I had red on the brain because my son goes to University of Maryland. Okay, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> so thank you so much. I wanted to give you a hug. It's it was so nice. Thanks so, so much so fun. Nice. Love having y'all. I love learning, you know, th things from you too. So, all these things I didn't know I was doing wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> not doing anything wrong. Holding a knife. You're out there saving people. <laughs> so please, please <laughs> keep doing that and send them to me. Yeah, and we'll, we'll try to you know work together. You know, if you if you have any recipes that that you want to see done, and then give them to me, and I can try to tweak them, and then they can be part of our our cookbook that we're gonna do. So you know, we didn't we didn't even have a chance to talk about this, but a lot of the work I do is with pregnant women and preventing heart disease related to pregnancy. One of the studies that I just worked on that was just published, actually in the American Heart Journal Association Journal. Um, Java is about the Mediterranean diet and the benefits of the Mediterranean diet in reducing the risk of pregnancy complications. So when we were cooking today, all I could think was, well, this fits perfectly. So I could tell women who are pregnant that this is the sort of meal that they should be consuming. Yeah. 
and it's a better chance for their own health to be better, but also for their babies. And I would love to give a class for them. I mean, uh, and, and a, or a whole series, but I would need your expertise on saying it. What is good? This one's good. I will, I will so tell you that there's so variations. much interest in, yeah. especially in women who are pregnant and learning about healthy food. So let's do it. You ready whenever you are. All right. Deal. <laughs> okay, pregnant ladies. We want you to eat healthy. All our other friends out there, namaste. Thank you so much for joining us both in the heart kitchen. And we'll see ya. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Thank you for having me. Or next week. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye, y'all.